Bones Forest. So Pan comes again with words of wisdom and advice for our hero. Gabriel is angry now. Carmilla's betrayal has made him question his own faith. The Brotherhood means nothing to him anymore. He only wants his marine Can jump, back. but can't even. He now has two pieces of the mask and only one more to find to make it complete. He must travel now to the Can land of the dead, Bloodborne? and he must face the final lord, Death himself. There are still many leagues to travel, and I cannot risk being seen, for I doubt even one of his brotherhood could help Wait. him now. He must go where Wait. none may follow. We're going to meet this? this. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, Sir Patrick Stewart. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Sing me the song of death. <gasps> Carmilla, being one of the founders of the Brotherhood, received these magical shoulders as a gift from the Order for her devotion and purity of spirit. Crafted with the feathers of an archangel. Originally, the seraph soldiers allowed their wearer to fly short distances, but now, after centuries of misuse by the corrupted vampire Dark Lord, only a fraction of their true power remains. Um, um, um. Oh, okay, so it's just a, like a better jump. Okay. Yoinks! Whoopa! Whoopa! Okay, I already like it. Was expecting fly. Disappointed. How many games actually give you ability to fly? Most of them give you the ability to, you know hover or something like that but not really fly which is sad but at the same time like yeah i do understand it because if people would be able to fly like that superman 64 mm, yeah but games like hack and slash type of games i have no idea how is superman 64 to be fair you will walk yourself off the room Isn't a game, or it's a cabbage. Yeah, I have never heard of it, which is the reason why I have no idea what you two were talking. <laughs> to be fair, there has been so many games that I didn't even know existed, so yeah. It's been in the three worst games of all the time. Alright, welcome back. Fucking dead. Okay. Super Mario 61 or is one of the worst games ever made during Nintendo 64 era. Personal hydration is at optimal levels. I've never played anything on Nintendo 64. Not sure about any other Nintendo either. Always flying through rings, non-stop. Okay, we got another thing. Whoop. These are usually worn by warriors of the Brotherhood of Light. Wait, we have read that one. This one. It is said that a witch hunts these parts, so I must be on my guard. I have come across a terrible creatures and faced incalculable challenges along the way, but I have found strength in God through this adversity. I have developed considerable skills with weaponry and a command over light and shadow magic has proven useful. 
I feel I'm strong enough to challenge anything now, and few creatures could take me in one-on-one -on -one combat. Let the Lord of the Death fear. The handwritten scroll ends abruptly. Mm -hmm. You're probably spending a lot of money to run Superman 64 for play. Money better spent in anything else, like playing someone to insert needles in your own eyes. Lovely. What the fuck? What the fuck is that fucking... Ugh. Camera angle fucks you over. Delightful. Well, I guess we do it this way then. Whoop! whoop -a! Yep, all the same like it. Oh, what a cute little creature. Four cute little creatures. Lovely. Lovely. Very lovely indeed. Wait, did it give me? No, it didn't tell me anything about these creatures. Okay, that was low key awesome. Now it's let's. But you are fighting their heads, yes. These undead creatures are the decapitated remains of warriors from the Brotherhood. Necromancer Magic has reanimated them and they prey on fellow warriors who bear arms for the Brotherhood. Using their heads as heads, they can attack at will, biting and tearing their victims. However, it is their bodies that are their weak spot, and anyone caught in a battle with zombie heads would do well to remember that. Okay, that's great. Whoop. Whoop. Flip. Whoop. Up in the it goes. All the way to this guy. Whoop. Oh fucking hell. Headless part here. Fucking literally. There he goes. Noise. You love the sounds you make when jumping. Some needs to make weird noises all the time when they play. It says has to be made. I have a feeling we can't come back from there, but at the same time, 
This will whoop -ha! Time to time. So it's like a life pilot, huh? yes. Come on, no, that's him. No hugs for you, sir. Come on. You need to get ready to get a bus to your friend's house, but you don't want to. Can anyone just sling you over there, like with a giant slingshot or something? I would use, you know, borrow my teleport gun if I would have one. But I do wish you safe travels. You have actually never seen any footage of this before. I was wondering what kind of game it is. If we want this one available with Xbox. Huh. Ha! Can we go to that lower level? Tempting. Yeah, I have made a great mistake. I won't be able to go backwards, but it will really fucking piss me off because I know that there is gonna be something that we now did not manage to find because of five. I hate missing loot because you think that you are not going to go forward. It sucks big time because you want to find everything, you know? Everything. But you can't because you accidentally keep, keep getting forward in the game. For some reason, you thought you sounded like. From Grass Bandicoot. No, you know it doesn't. Maybe it's Mario. Could be. What? Can't make it. Oh my god, I fucking hate the Chewbacca press. I fucking hate them. They are annoying pieces of shit. Sad loot goblin noises. Yeah, very sad. <laughs> Well, at least we got some more health. So you know that's something. Definitely something. Wait, can we go more forward? Yes. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh yeah, I can't heal up, I forgot that part. Fucking dick. Hi 
Commander Sergeant. How are you today? Is that a troll? Yeah, it is. A big troll. Yes, trolls look like this. Whoop -ha! I tell you, piece of cookie. You could just woke up and DLC, and you are starting our day. Ah, sounds good. Hope you slept. Hope you both slept well. Lovely to see you around. And that's a quick guide how to get friends. Hmm. Chupaka press wonder at these parts. I must warn the Brotherhood. The pesky creatures do nothing but steal relics and play stupid games. We have more important things to do than partake in trite games. We have to save the world from the Lords of Shadow. The dead walk to Earth and the land suffers. I suggest we kill the Chupaka press once and for all and wipe their existence from the face of this world. This will be God's work and it is God who commands us to kill the scum. Save the scoop, uh, scoop there. Chupacapras are fucking annoying. We can't kill them all. I'm down for it. Chupacapras, yeah. He let you sleep until eight, so you're all for it. It'll be nine in a few minutes. Oh, that is very nice. Happy to hear that. Chewing bubblegum and saving the world. Yep. Wait. Wait, wait. No. So the question is where in the fucking earth we are supposed to go? Then? Here. Leap. No Chupaka press here. Oh dear. But jumping puzzles, because we so much love the fucking jumping puzzles. So lovely indeed. Ooh. Ooh you know, this one has as well. I just can't make it to the streams here on account of the time difference and being on morning shift. Oh, Well, even if we see you rarely, it's nice to see you always pop by sometimes. And don't worry, we won't be forgetting you. Though the saving symbol was an item, it could have been, it could have been, to be fair. Whoop. I have seen him. Gandalf lives. He hides in the forest, in the guise of an old beggar. I'm sure it is him. He's the warrior we have been hoping for. He will take down the Lords of Shadow with his legendary weapon and save us all. I knew he would return. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. How are you liking Lords of Shadows? Loving it so far. Like some of the stuff I have gotten stuck a little bit. But so far I'm really loving it. It's freaking great. The stench of death is strong. A witch holds power here, but I sense Gabriel is more than a match for her. The bones of his fellow warriors litter the place, but he seems oblivious to them. Stoic and determined to move forward, he doggedly fights on. 
He has not slept for days. He rests only briefly. I sometimes hear him talking to her, telling her he loves her, that they will be together again. In the dark, he weeps for her, or perhaps it is for his own lost soul. Bum, bum, bum. That's an interesting house, I would say. That's an interesting elevator, I see. You played this one and did 100% in the base game and the LC content on it October 2020. Okay, it's my first time playing on it, so it has been an experience. What about regular house? Mm, yeah, still need to play the second one. I do think that I will be playing the second one after this one. A lot of people have had very mixed opinions about it, so I thought that I'd play and, you know, make my own decision of it. Lost your way? Oh, lost your way? Master told Baba you would come. Who is your master? Baba Yaga, is that you? The king, of course. The king of the angels. Lost your way then? Uh, Baba can help. Baba knows the path. Where is it? Where must I go? Only in the music box. Can blue rose grow? Papa wants to be young and pretty again. Bring Papa blue rose. And blue rose is probably Papa a freaking uh, gem. Of the dead. One Papa of those soldiers leaves a great note in the box. end of the game. Hope you find it. Inside, you must pass the test. Nope, you have a screen. Okay. Back. I'll try my best to find it. Papa, who will be young again? Oh, yes. Yes. Box locked. Scarecrows took keys. Oh, bad scarecrows. Keys of three. Bring me three, and you will see. Baba, glad to set you free. Find why this is one of those when I was young. Not lie to you. This very three keys. Go no Looks like it. Without the keys. I will Where's the house with chicken legs? Promise to help me. Yes, yes, promise I will. Keys first. What game it actually was that house had the house with the chicken legs? Because I don't remember. I just remember we played it. I don't remember what game it was. And her mortar and vessel. Yeah. Yeah, she's kind of one of those like when I was young, I had to ski to the school and fight with the dragons. This old hack is the subject of many myths in popular folklore, mostly appearing as an evil witch who eats children and lives in a cabin that stands on a pair of chicken legs. All parts of these legends are true. Her house does not stand on chicken legs. Though, as for the rest, who knows? Baba Yaga likes to brew a special tea made from extremely rare blue rose petals. It temporarily transforms this hideous old hag into a beautiful young woman. Although she will sometimes help people, it's usually very dangerous to ask her for a waiver. Unless you are very polite and can offer her something in return. She flies around in the... Oh no, hag. Yeah, but what game actually had a... that kind of thing? I remember it was a game where also was mushrooms. Is her still a hack? Gorses and Maiden. Hmm, that's a good question. Very good question. Yes, maybe, no. Tomb Raider, yeah. Smack! The witch said that the scarecrows bonded to these posts were alive, and at first I didn't believe her. But now after days of watching over one of them, I'm not sure what to believe. Yesterday a couple of birds landed on the scarecrow's head, and I could swear I saw that thing moving to catch them. Immediately. 
I grabbed my sword and attacked the monster, but it remained inert without responding to my blows. What? Your life should be immortal, vampire. Mm, I don't think so. I would like to try something that I do not already know. <laughs> I'm not sure if that we want to be immortal. So it's living forever it has its own issues, and people will get suspicious about you. If you live forever, like they will. And that will cause issues for you. So you would have to change the place every once in a while, just to not, you know, raise the suspects of you being immortal. Because humanity just can't handle it. Hi, Rish, how are you today? Unlock at character's best rear entry. Ta da! You're doing okay, Gunsberg, about your diabetes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I do hope it gets better. I'm not sure, like, how we did it. But you would love to be a vampire if any of you guys become one, turn you into one as well. Depends on what you offer. <laughs> Queen, you know an awful about being immortal and how to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, I I read books. Let's just say I have had time to read the books. A few books at least. No reason at all. The Scarecrow are magical construct of the Grove Witch, Malthus, that attack and kill anything that moves. Malthus created the Scarecrows to keep Papa Yaga under her watchful eye and where possible to nullify her power by restricting her movements. The scarecrows are roused by the birds which follow the evil crow. With spitting, the scarecrows are extremely fast and attack with razor sharp sights. It's because of books, you was calling one housing already. Yeah, books! It is books! Don't call one, Hisley. It's experience, what else? <laughs> what is this white shirt? Half white, half black, also high into tomb. How are you today? How come Papa Yaga ain't the evil witch? Yes! But yeah, I just, um, you know, I'm maybe I'm just guessing. And one whole thing definitely is a myth, and you, do, you should not, you know, very good call. Unless when you find a perfect recipe, you're gonna have your goose here. You know. <laughs> the rest will be the guest of honor. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. I have never tasted goose. Okay, where else is good to go? Okay, have an amazing rest of your day. Salty boost, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you Monday again. Honestly speaking, you just woke up, so you have no idea how you're doing today yet. But how about you do? <gasps> I hope you slept well. Mm, I'm okay, I think. Low-key terrified, to be fair. I guess. <laughs> this land was once teeming with life and beauty. Now look at it. The stench of death is everywhere. The scarecrows see everything, and I have heard that the crows of Malfas watch over this place and report back to their mistress. Well, too bad she's dead. An old legend is written that a witch killed the lover of Malfas, and that she swore to revenge on her. I wonder if the old crow still lives, or if it's just another scary bedtime story for children. When I get sluggish with the goose meat. Hmm. 
And you got the tip as well. Gotta get breakfast started. Okay, enjoy the breakfast and thanks for stopping by, sir. It was lovely to see you. Have an amazing rest of your day. Hi, Tarna. How are you today? Hi, Devolved. How are you today? You have had a goose and you can tell you if you ever have the opportunity to have it, buy one, roast it and stuff it. You success, don't do it. Uh, why? Like, now I'm interested. You okay, just didn't want to wake up. Offer. Have a great time with this game. See you guys when you can. Might just need to chat in Discord. Yeah, that would be awesome as well. Oh yeah, Queen, this is one of those games where something plays after the credits ends, so be sure not to skip it if you feel inclined to do so. I never really skip stuff, so... It would be weird for me if I would. But yeah, thank you for mentioning, I appreciate it. So I definitely don't want to miss something like that. But you might have to mention it once again. So who knows? We will just throw it back there. Also, Orphine, they are blaming me to be a vampire. This is suspicious, you know? It's your favorite part of the game. Ah, fair. A vampire, you wonder why? I, I don't know why, you know? I just drink my blood red wine from a glass. I'm allergic to garlic. Mm. I know awfully lot about being immortal, <laughs> which is obviously because of the many thousands of <coughs> few books I've read about. Is that sword or whip? Whip? Also, hi, noble decoder. How are you today? And you love bones and craves. Yes. And I sleep in a cough. A uh, bed. Bed. Like an every normal human being. I sleep in a bed. Many thousand years of being alive. <laughs> Few books. Goose does not offer a lot of meat. It is crazy. Maybe it was the goose you had, but you have not heard many good things about goose outside of Charles Dickens' book, Christmas Carl. Okay, fair. That's uh, good to know. But to be fair, I feel like goose is something that I would not eat for the respect of for my friend. I don't know why, it's just like... Uh, I take it very weirdly serious about that. You're splendid happy to hear. Um, I'm okay, I think. Looks like the crows doesn't like each other. Bleh. Idiots. Good. Because, like, at the same way, it would be, I guess, eating a friend's favorite animal. I guess it just like feels wrong to me. Uh, I would be very, 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 very disappointed if, like, I would hear like, "Yeah, I ate dolphin." That would be like, you did fucking what? You're waiting for Q to be like, hmm, I'm kidding. There is Here is evidence that there is into bat and flies off in the wind. Nah, I would not do that. No. Also, it's a myth. No one can turn into a bat. Turkey is a super option. It's a bird. It's your desire for Xmas. I have... Not ever gotten a chance to eat turkey. I don't think it's uh, something you can get easily from here. You mean your emotes are all blood sucking sensors up in with the googly eyes? You show so much. No one first when you see him. Yeah, exactly, and I'm not a vampire. 